I'm going to show you how to perform a two sample t test with the new display test assumptions report displayed in Sigma Excel version 7. To begin, we're going to open up the customer data set. You can do this by clicking on Help, Sample Data. I'm going to open up the customer data set. Here you're going to click on Statistical Tools, Two Sample t test. The data is already pre selected. In the chance that your data set is not pre selected, you can always select Use Entire Data Table. We're going to ensure the stack column format is selected. The numeric data variable will be Overall Satisfaction, and the group category will be Customer Type. The null hypothesis mean difference is equal to zero. The alternative hypothesis is not equal to zero. And the confidence level is equal to 95. We're going to select assume equal variances. And we're also going to ensure that display test assumptions report is also selected. I'm going to click OK. Customer types 2 and 3 will be selected. Click OK for the resulting output. Given the p-value of 0 0.0007, we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that mean customer satisfaction is significantly different between customer type 2 and 3. So now we're going to view the two-sample t-test assumptions report. This is a new feature in Sigma Excel version 7. It is a text report with color highlights. Green means OK. Yellow is a warning, and red is a serious violation. Each sample is tested for normality using the Anderson-Darling test. If not normal, the minimum sample size for robustness of the two-sample t-test is determined utilizing Monte Carlo regression equations. If the sample size is inadequate, a warning is given, and the non-parametric Mann-Whitney test is recommended. Each sample is also tested for outliers defined as potential, likely, and extreme. If outliers are present, a warning is given and a recommendation to review the data with a box plot and normal probability plot is also given. Here we have a potential outlier for customer type 2. A quick tip, if the removal of outliers result in an Anderson-Darling p-value that is greater than 0.1, a notice is given that excluding the outliers, the sample data are inherently normal. Each sample is tested for randomness using the exact nonparametric runs test. The sample data is not random. A warning is given and a recommendation to review the data with a run chart is also given. And lastly, a test for equal variance is also applied. If all sample data are normal, the F test is utilized. Otherwise, Levine's test is used. If the variances are unequal and the test being used is the equal variance option, then a warning is given and Welch's test is recommended. This concludes the two sample t-test with assumptions report example. If you would like to view more videos and tutorials, you can visit sigmaexcel.com. Thank you for watching.